Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika. Today I have the ultimate guide to red lipstick. So if you ever wondered how does red lipstick work, what are some different shades that are out there, and what are some good either drugstore, high-end, or like newer formulas out there that I would recommend. So that's what this video is going to encompass. And since I have 20 different lipsticks to talk about with you, Let's just get right to it. Before we get to any of these lipsticks, I do want to point out that red lipstick is sort of like my happy place. I am just getting over a flu right now, and the way for having an instant pick-me-up, in my case, is to put on a red lipstick. Which is why I have quite a few, which is why I love it. Um, this past year, you have me seen, you've seen me wearing a lot of neutral, like the same neutral lipstick a lot, because I was wearing more color on my eyes. But if I want to go for something basic, something more neutral, I love putting on a red lip and I have different reds that I like in different seasons. So that's why I thought I could do this video to sort of give you the full lowdown on everything red lipstick. So today I'm wearing a very basic fish as you can see because I will not only be showing these lipsticks on a swatch on my hands, but I will be also putting everything onto my lips, which is why there's 20 here. Having done lip swatch videos in the past, I know that I can get away with roughly swatching 20 different lipsticks on my lips without them going super duper like dry and for the rest of the day. So 20 is sort of like my max. So that's what we're going with today. And before we sort of get to drugstore and high end, I think that a brand that does a lot of good different red lipsticks is MAC. And that's where I want to start this video talking about some MAC lipsticks to show you what different reds look like and what they can do. Because before you think that a red lipstick is just a red lipstick, oh boy, you're definitely, definitely wrong. We can have pink toned reds, we can have brown toned reds, we can have like blue toned reds. There's a red for everyone out there, uh, depending on your skin tone or whatever it is that you're looking for that red lipstick to do. So I thought we could start the video by showing you five different red lipsticks by MAC that all have that different sort of undertone and show you on my face what they sort of do for me. So that's uh, why we're starting off with that. And I wanted to start off with my favorite MAC lipstick, which is Russian Red. I think this was the first red lipstick I bought by MAC. Um, may even have been one of the first red lipsticks to buy, period. Um, and I know that a lot of people go on about Ruby Woo, but that has a much more matte texture than this does. This has their standard MAC, uh, like the standard matte formula by MAC, which is a bit more comfortable than most other um, uh, mattes that they do. They also do, I have one of those like that have a bit more of a dry down, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. But Russian Red is just your bog standard blue toned classic red. It doesn't get more classic than this. If you're looking for that standard sort of 1950s pinup red, go with Russian red because it doesn't have that much orange. It doesn't have any more pink. And when you wear this, you will see it when I put it on, it makes your teeth look a lot whiter too. So let's just try on Russian red. So there we have Russian Red, and as you can see, this makes your teeth look whiter, it brightens up your face, it's just a great classic red lipstick, and as you can see, mine is looking a little bit worse for wear, because for a dance performance, we had to wear red lipstick, and everybody was like, oh, yours is perfect, can I borrow it? So this was like, put on everyone's face in the, at the end for that performance, and yeah, this is just the best, like, classic pin-up 1950s red and that would be my my main recommendation especially if you want to try a MAC lipstick you want to try a red go with Russian red over Ruby Woo because it also has a much more comfortable texture so where Russian red is more of a blue toned red we can also have a more pink toned red and that is one of those formulas that I was talking about that's a bit more dry this is relentlessly red and especially when I swatch this next to Russian red Ooh, there we go. This swatch is already quite tough here. Um, but you can see that this relentlessly red, it's called a red, but it definitely pulls next to a red like that. It looks almost pink. But if you put this next to a pink, it looks more red. It's a bit of a weird shade. 
And this is one of their retro matte finishes. So these are the very dry, sort of tugs on your lips, super dry formulas, which is not everyone's favorite. And Ruby Woo has that sort of texture. So if you're looking for something like Ruby Woo, but you want it to be, it'll have a bit more of a slip to it, then Russian Red is a great one. So Rel Relentlessly Red is more of a pink toned red. I will show you some more pink toned reds in some of the other categories I have to show you because for some people this definitely translates more like a pink than like a red, which I totally understand. But I thought that to show you all these different undertones, we could stick to one brand just for like completion's sake. And that would be Relentlessly Red, which as you can see, the Russian Red one really made my teeth look whiter. This one doesn't because it's just, it does have that very different undertone. This is one that if I wear it, I wear it more, more so in the spring and summertime because that's when I like these brighter poppy shades. Um, but this is not one that I wear a lot. I reach for my Russian Red over a lot of my other red lipsticks a ton more. Next up is an orange toned red and MAC does a great one which is called Lady Danger and again if I swatch this next to any of the others you will see definitely that this has a very different undertone again. This definitely pulls a lot more orange when you compare it to something like Russian Red. Um, this is very close to an orange more so than a red I would say but Lady Danger is another one of those classic shades that you hear a lot of people talking about. This is one of my favorite shades to wear in the summertime. I love a good orange toned red, but you will see when I put this on my lips that again, it does something differently for my complexion. So that is what Lady Danger looks like on. As you can see, it almost like comes towards you in the camera. I'm not sure about that, but what you see when you watch this video, but that's what I can see in the viewfinder. And this makes me look a little paler than I actually am, I feel. I think that a shade like this is especially gorgeous if you have a deeper skin tone. And also if you have a very warm undertone, then this can really complement your complexion. I have a more neutral slash cooler undertone, which is why this is such a contrast and sort of like kapow in your face. And that's just because my skin tone is very light, of course, I'm very fair. And it has that cool to neutral undertone to it, meaning that it just sort of is a much starker contrast between the two. Um, I do feel that in terms of like my teeth, it again makes it a little bit whiter because it's got that brightness to it. It has that really bright pop of orange to it. And that's why I love wearing this, especially with a very simple basic eye like I'm wearing today. By the way, I'm wearing a color pop. Super Shock Shadow in the shade Rich, Ritz. That's what I'm wearing on my lids today. And other than that, just a bit of mascara because I want it to be the full focus on the lipsticks and these lip colors. So I feel that this definitely does something for my face that I quite like, but it's definitely a very seasonable option for me. Seasonable? Seasonal option for me. But we also have, apart from pink and orange toned reds, we also have brown toned reds and MAC do a perfect one in the shade Chili. This to me is a perfect color for the fall time because this is very warm toned, very much has that turning leaves kind of color. Again, if you put it next to Lady Danger, you can see that it has a bit more of that warmth to it. This is a lot more cool toned over on this side. This has a lot more warmth to it. So in the fall time, I like wearing this. And there we have Chili and what it looks like on me. Again, because it has that warmth of that hint of orange to it, but a little bit more brown toned, it is definitely a little bit, like again, starker against my complexion because I have that more neutral slash cooler undertone. But I feel that with a more warm toned eye, a good bit of bronzer, like a nice sort of like plummy blush, I think this can look really, really stunning in the fall time. And that's when I reach for this the most. Um, it really has that sort of chestnut almost feeling to it. I think if you have a very deep undertone, then this can look gorgeous on you as well. So I definitely would say that these two, if you have a deeper skin tone, probably work better on you than something like this, which I think is much more uh, suited to people with a fairer skin tone. Right, and last but not least, by MAC, I want to show you that reds can also be pretty dark and vampy. 
And to show you that, I have Sin, which is a very deep red without being too berry. A lot of deep reds pull quite berry, and I will swatch it over on this side so you can see. Um, it still falls within like that red category. It's not too purple, but it definitely has more purple to it. So if I had to categorize reds, I would say you have your classic blue toned reds, you've got pink toned reds, orange toned reds, brown toned reds, and purple toned red reds, which can pull into the berry category, but usually they are the darker, vampier shades in a line, like, for instance, Max Sin. So I'll show you now what that looks like on. And before you think, hmm, you've got a fair skin tone, so will that look good on you? Uh, my lip line is starting to disappear over on this side. That's just staining from all the other lipsticks I've already been wearing. That will get worse as the video continues, so I do apologize. Um, but as you can see, a deep, dark, vampy red like this can still look really, really nicely, even if you're fair. It's just going to make you look paler than you probably are. Just saying. That's a look you have to be into. Uh, again, with a very basic eye like this, I think it can look really nicely. I would not put this together with a smoky eye on me. Then it would just be dark eyes, dark lips. Can look really nice. I, I, it can be a look for like a party, bit of glitter on the eye. This is a shade I really like wearing actually in the winter time when I'm at my palest. Just to, I don't know. And then with like a blush that really sort of gives you that fresh right for, for in from the cold kind of look. I think that this can look pretty nicely. Again, on a deeper skin tone, this will look very, very differently, of course, uh, because then this is just really that sort of sultry sort of lip look, which is also really stunning, of course. So there you have the five different undertones of red lipstick that I own by MAC. So what we're going to be doing next, now that we've talked about the five different undertones of red lipstick, I want to show you my five favorite lipsticks at the drugstore, my five favorite high-end lipsticks, as well as five new in, like newer formulas that I'm currently like trying out that I haven't really made up my mind about. But I just wanted to show you that there's lots of different things to offer when it comes to red lipsticks. So uh, let's take this one off and then we'll go over some other reds first from the drugstore. So I wanted to include drugstore in here very badly because I don't feel you need to spend splurge on MAC to find a good red lipstick. You really don't. In fact, good red lipstick can go for as little as four euros at the drugstore. This is by Catrice. This is their shade Ooh La La. This is in their new Demi Matte line and the reason why I'm showing you this and not my actual favorite is because my actual favorite has been discontinued, but they still do the shade in their new line. But if you can find the old one, just find the shade Rouge La La by Catrice, either in the Ultimate Matte or in this newer Demi Matte style. It's the same shade, they just have a slightly different texture. And this is just a classic red. Um, and this is what Rouge La La looks like. It's just a really nice classic red lipstick. It's super affordable, stays on all day. That goes for all of the lipsticks I'm showing you here. You don't want a red that transfer, transfers anywhere. Everything I'm showing you in this video is long wearing. It fades a little bit perhaps throughout the day, but you can go a full work day without having to touch these up. At least I can. So that would be Catrice Rouge Lala. As you can see, this is a stunning, stunning shade. It's perhaps a bit brighter than Russian Red. I think that's a bit deeper, yeah. This definitely has a bit more of like a cherry factor to it. So more like a cherry toned red, but this is a stunning, stunning shade and it's super affordable. Does the same thing, but it's like a fifth of the price of a MAC lipstick. I showed you a pink toned red next in the MAC lipstick, so let me show you a pink toned red from the drugstore, because yes, you can find these different undertones at a more affordable price uh, point as well. This is all fired up by Maybelline, and this is from their matte range. I don't think this is available everywhere you go, but this is that really bright, sort of fun, electro red sort of shade. This is like a neon red. That's what you could call it. It's a very unique shade. I don't feel I have much that is similar in my uh, lipstick collection, actually. 
And there we have All Fired Up by Maybelline. Again, perhaps when you saw the swatch, this didn't look much like a red. And when you put this next to reds, it looks like a pink. Put it next to pinks, it looks like a red. Again, I feel that if you have a pale complexion like mine, this looks really, really stunning in the spring or summertime for, again, that really nice bright pop of something. But what I think the drugstore does best is just a classic red. Um, it's something they do very well, so these are three of my other favorites. I really like the new Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade Stiletto. And I spotted this on their website and I was like, I need to try that. This is another one of those like super bright, more classic, like rich reds. Oh, isn't that stunning? There you have Stiletto. And again, Makeup Revolution is very affordable. I love this. It has a very sort of like velvety feel on the lips when you apply this. It has a very pleasant texture. But you know which affordable brand also does some great lipstick? ColourPop. They did a matte X lippy stick in the shade Trust Me. I think they still do this. This is one of those things they haven't discontinued yet. And this is a really nice sort of matte formula. It has a bit of a weird applicator at first, but again, oh, that's such a stunning shade right there. Um, and because this is so skinny, it makes for very precise application, which I like. And that is ColourPop's Trust Me. This is one of their lippy sticks, as I mentioned. It makes for super precise application because of the thin applicator that you get here. So especially if you're someone who struggles with applying lipstick very precisely, because he's click shot, I feel they also stay well very for a very long time. And this is just stunning shade. But if a standard bullet lipstick isn't your jam and you're just looking for a really good, affordable, super long-lasting liquid lipstick, then Maybelline has your back. Their uh, Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks are lovely. This is in the shade Pioneer. And this is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. The formula is great. It's not too drying on the lips. And yet these stay all day. And this Pioneer shade... Ooh, it is a bit deeper, but it does look really, really stunning. So let me show you this. So there we have Pioneer. And this again has a super duper nice, precise applicator as well, which I appreciate about these Maybelline matte inks. I have a bunch of these in different shades because I just love the formula so much. But this red is probably my most worn. Oh, it has a bit of tackiness to it, but it dries down and then it won't, like, it just won't go anywhere all day. And isn't this shade gorgeous? I think it is. So let's move on to high-end lipsticks then. Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. I seem to be the only one on the planet really raving about Vice Lipsticks. I think they deserve a lot more loving. This is in the shade 714, which I believe was already released in the Gwen Stefani line, and this is such a stunning, like, again, more of a classic red here, nothing too crazy, and it has a mega matte formula, so it's not their comfort matte, this is a much more matte than the Russian red, for instance, by MAC. This is one of those that really stays put, doesn't go anywhere, and has a bit more of a drier texture, so it has to be something that you like, but I love this shade. And that would be 714 by Urban Decay. I love this shade as well. It is sort of like that red that you see Gwen Stefani wear all the time, it seems. So it really reminds me of that. It has a bit of that brightness to it again. It is more blue toned, but oh, it's so stunning. I still think I still prefer Russian red over everything that I've shown you so far because it has a little bit more depth to it. This is definitely, again, a little bit brighter. But shall we just talk about my other all-time favorite red lipstick. It's a bougie option. If we're talking high-end, we are also going to be talking about some bougie options. This is Charlie Tilbury's Red Carpet Red. Again, it has a bit more depth, depth to it, which is why I think I like it so much. And I really like, in these Charlie Tilbury lipsticks, I really like the like bullet because it's squared off which at first you go like will that work but it does it works really well red carpet red was a shade that i when i first wanted to try 
a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Like this is what I do when I want to try a new brand when it comes to lipsticks. I love trying a nude, a red, and a bright. That's just what I like to do to really get a feel for the formula and the brand and how it works. So I went into Charlotte Tilbury, picked up a nude, and I wanted to try a matte red, of course. So they put this on me and the lady at the counter didn't want to take it off anymore. She was like, that's your color. This is your red. And I think that it will go for a lot of people. So let's show you what red carpet red looks like on. As you can see, this makes my, it suits my complexion perfectly, makes my teeth look wider. It's just a stunning, stunning lipstick. This is from their Matte Revolution range, by the way. That's something that you do need to know. I've tried some of the K-I-S-S-I-N-G lipsticks by Charlotte Tilbury, which is her cream formula, which I don't like as much. For me, it's Matte Revolution all the way. Those are my favorites. Before I owned Max Lady Danger, I actually bought this, and YSL is, of course, a lot more expensive. This is their shade Rouge Pour Couture in 50, um, and this is Rouge Neon, and this is a dupe for Lady Danger, I think. Uh, it may actually even be a bit more orange than Lady Danger, which is over there. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit more orange. It has, um, the Rouge Pour Couture line is more of like a cream finish, so again, that's why I sort of keep this around. So there we have Rouge Neon from the Rouge Pour Couture line by YSL. This has such a nice creamy texture to it. It still stays put all day though. Um, and that's what I feel sometimes with lipstick. If you pay a little bit more, like the Charlotte Tilbury, you get the wear time and the comfort. Whereas with drugstore, sometimes you just get either one. I definitely feel that some of my more high-end lipsticks have better wear time and they look nicer throughout the day, even though those drugstore ones I showed you in here are excellent lipsticks. I have no, no issues with them at all. So then we're moving on to one of my recent acquisitions, but I have already tried quite a bit. So I know how I feel about this lipstick. And it's one that you, I'm afraid to say, you can't buy off the rack because I made myself a red lipstick at the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. And I asked for a darker red, and this is what we came up with. Um, but this is a matte formula. Um, and it's got violet scent, which, ooh, yeah, this is definitely a lot darker than the rest. Um, it's even darker. Do you see that it's darker than Russian Red even? Like, this is such a, like, this is the kind of lipstick I was looking for. Because I have a lot of these, like, brighter, like, boom, in your face kind of reds. And this is still a boom in your face kind of red. But it is a little bit deeper without being too deep or vampy like Sin. <laughs> And that is my custom red lipstick from the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. As you can see, it is darker from anything we've swatched so far. And I just feel that this, this is like Christmas red. <laughs> Don't you think that way? Like this is the kind of red that you see a lot around Christmas time. It's that perfect sort of deeper red. I just feel like this with like a gold sparkly eye and you're ready for New Year's Eve. So for the final high-end red that I want to show you, I again wanted to show you a liquid lipstick. So I'm going to try and work with this as quickly as possible when it's on my lips so I can still take it off. Uh, this is the Ofra liquid lipstick in Atlantic City, and I travel with this because I know when I put this on, I don't have to worry about my lipstick for the rest of the day. It's that good. You put it on in the morning, you don't worry about it, and the Ofra liquid lipsticks are some of the most comfortable liquid lipsticks on the market without fail, which is why I ended up buying this red in the end, um, because it is that sort of like bright poppy red that we've been talking about a lot in this video. But then it just, you know, has that lasting power of a liquid lipstick that just makes this perfect for days where you really, really, really don't want to worry about your lipstick. And with a red, you never do, because as you can see, that staining that's going on, if a red lipstick bleeds, the MAC Rihanna collab that happened a couple of years ago, I have one of those Rihanna lipsticks. I think it's called Riri Wu. It bled. It, it pulled in every line around my lips, and it's not a good look, you guys. A red lipstick just needs to stay put, and this won't go anywhere. So let me show you this.
That is Atlantic City by Ofra, and as you can see, in the swatch it looks a bit darker because it's more full on, but when you put it on your lips, you really only need to dip once, and then if you spread it out really well, this is what you get. A really nice, thin, vibrant layer of red lipstick that stays put all day. And now it's time for the final category, which is five lipsticks that I bought quite recently that I just have to put more to the test. So I thought that we could sort of try them out in this video together um, because these are all fairly recent purchases and also because in 2019 I was really into my Catrice Power Plumping Gel Lipstick because it went with every single colorful eye look. I just feel that there have been a couple of formulas that I bought in the year that I just need to give more of a chance. So that's what I'm going to be doing in 20, uh, 2020. So I thought that in this video I could at least include them. Case in point, these new... Um, Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayons. These are supposed to do in stick form what those liquid lipsticks do. And this is in the shade Make It Happen, which is a really nice sort of like, oh, this looks very berry next to all of these other reds. But this is a really nice sort of like deeper red, but that does pull, like it still pulls red on my lips. I'm not gonna lie, but it I really picked this up because this seemed like a very unique shade. So that would be Make It Happen, which as you can see, it looks a bit more berry in the swatch, but that's because of my skin tone on my lips. It definitely pulls a bit more red, which makes for a very nice lipstick. I have to say, I quite like these. The only thing I don't like about these is that they sort of stick out of the packaging when you buy these new. So you have to be very careful when you put the lid back on. Also new and at like a drugstore price point are the ColourPop Velvet Blur lipsticks. And I bought Super Bloom which to me doesn't look much like a red, it's more like a coral, I feel. But ColourPop sells this as a red, so I thought I could feature it in this video. Uh, it again falls more into that like pink toned sort of realm. This is Relentlessly Red right there, and that's the ColourPop one. As you can see, it pulls more red than Relentlessly Red, so let's call it a red then. But to me, this is more like a reddish coral. So that is what Super Bloom looks like on my face. Again, it has that more pink toned quality to it. So that's why I felt this look more like a uh, coral, especially in the tube and in the swatch. But on my lips, I definitely think it can fall into that pink toned red quality. Then another new launch this year were the Zara lipsticks. I heard Tati talking about this and I was like, ooh, I need to try these. And I picked one up in a red. This is UM Ulti Matte number 16. Seems a bit more orange toned here, so it's a good thing I'm swatching these to, next to the MAC. <laughs> next to the MAC lipsticks, I think. So that's the Zara one. That is what that Zara lipstick looks like, and as you can see, it's an orange toned red. It's not as orange as Lady Danger, but it definitely falls into that category for me. This has a very strong, sweet like vanilla -y smell though, so that has to be your cup of tea. I'm usually not a fan of super scented makeup. Um, but yeah, if you do like a very sweet smell, then this may be nice. I do think that the color looks stunning on. A very new purchase for me, you may have seen this in my New York haul, is the Besame Snow White lipstick in the shade Snow White Red. It's from their Snow White line. And this also has a very sort of strange bullet. Um, which sort of threw me off. I definitely still need to get the hang of how to apply this. I've worn this once or twice, and it is a really stunning shade. It's supposed to be exactly the red lipstick that Snow White wears in the Disney movie, which is, of course, really nice. So I have a really hard time drawing in my Cupid's bow with this because it's so square. But the shade is stunning. I do have to say that this Besame Snow White lipstick is a really stunning shade. It has a bit of vibrancy to it. It's not too, too dark. On the days where I've worn it to work, I noticed a little bit of bleeding if I went a little too far over my lip line. And then, last but not least, can you guess? Very hot of the press. I got myself some of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks when they restocked. This is in the shade Velvet Ribbon, and I knew I wanted to try this the very first time I saw these, but I've been very late to the game with these. 
I missed out on both of this like stocks like the first time round and the second time round. But these are some stunning, stunning lipsticks. And Velvet Ribbon is supposed to be that super classic red as well. Of course, I already have quite a few. Can you, oh, can you look at that? Like all the attention to the detail from the bullet to the logo in the in the top. Let me show you that logo. This is going to be the first time applying this, you guys. So uh, wish me luck. But if I swatch this, that is what Velvet Ribbon looks like. And this is what Velvet Ribbon looks like on this glided on so easily. It feels super creamy when you apply it, but it's like a cloud. It feels like a mousse once it's on. It's really strange. I just wanted to show you some red lipsticks and how different undertones and all that sort of work. And I think that this is a stunning addition to my classic red lipstick collection here. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, that you now have a better idea of what lipstick, like red lipstick can do for you, depending on undertones and like different types of reds that you can that you can buy and um, by going through some of my favorites as well and some of the things that I'm excited to try so that you have hopefully a good idea of what's out there and how things look like on me and maybe that can be helpful to you. I really hope it is. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you, if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make new videos three times a week if I'm not sick. Um, and uh, yeah, so I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!